Hello friends and family, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me. I hope that you are all doing well and taking great care of yourselves. This is Joy, Pink Girl Teaches, and today I want to answer a question about when the new supply gets pregnant. This was something that somebody mentioned to me and I hope you catch this. You know, one thing that I think it's important to remember is narcissists are always going to be true to form. It doesn't matter who comes into their lives. A narcissist will forever be a narcissist. They will be who they are unless they seek the power of the living God. That means that they are going to treat the new supply the same way that they treated you. And there is no there's no difference when it comes to children and how these narcissists treat their children. There is no love, and I mean genuine, pure, agape love, love that a parent would pour into a child that would change the child or help the child grow into a healthy person that would be produ a productive member of society. That's something that you just can't get from a narcissist. So when the new supply gets pregnant and if you are somebody who is sitting back and watching this happen i want you to to please know that first of all the relationship with the new supply is not better than what you had you know it may look better if you look and watch and you have to also remember that the narcissist has to put on a show to make you feel and to make the world, whoever is watching, whoever they want to see, believe that they're living their best life. There is no such thing for a narcissist. You know, when I think of living my best life, I think of being authentic to who I am. I think of being authentic to um, who I am as according to who my creator, God, says that I am. It means that I'm going to establish, I'm going to create loving, meaningful connections with people who are like-minded and we are going to go about doing the work that God has for us while we meet people, love people, enjoy, and just engage in this journey of life. That's not what they do. Living their best life means projecting or selling you an image that they think you want to see that they think makes them look better than you that they believe makes them appear superior and their life is so exciting it's never the same i mean it's never that case with narcissists you have to remember that nothing is as it seems so you know <laughs> this can be a bit of a story time because i definitely have experience watching this unfold and I'm going to share my experience towards the end, but I just want you to remember that sometimes the narcissist actually gets supply pregnant on purpose. This is so that they can have a forever supply, so that they can have a continuous connection to this person. It offers some of them stability. It offers them, you know, just a means to say, I'm always going to be able to tap into this source. And it just makes them feel that I will forever have control. I will forever have dominion over this person. And just consider what I've just said, dominion over a person that's witchcraft at its finest. It was not conceived in love. It has no bearings of love, but it is of evil intentions. They want to be able to keep this person in the narcissistic harem sometimes they do it on purpose yes they may get this person pr pregnant on purpose simply to have bragging rights and say to everybody else that hey and even you the discarded person that I have somebody and I'm having the life that you thought that we were going to have. And sometimes it's, you know, if you discard them or you're you're not responding to their hover or you're not breaking no contact, they really do take it as far as thinking that this is a way to punish you. But really consider that who's being punished at the end of the day because now a new life has been brought into this world, a new innocent life. 
One of the tragedies of all of this is that children are innocent and they are thrown in the midst of it. Sometimes you find that you are the person who actually has children with the narcissist. And now you have to sit back and watch this unfold. And one of the most difficult things, and this is something that I, you know, my family, my children and I had to um, had to go through, is the triangulation. Yes, narcissists will use their new children with the new supply to triangulate your children, to triangulate other children. They will also use one as a golden child, a scapegoat. They play all these games, but at the end of the day, they're truly hurting the children. Of course, we as adults get hurt too by some of these behaviors, especially if you are still healing, but consider the innocence of the children. What's also very interesting is that sometimes you find that it's the new supply who may be toxic or who has heard all these things about you and what a terrible mother you are or a terrible father and how you um, you know, are alienating their child and they have no access to their child and because this person just wants to make everything right for the narcissist because let's not forget, they are being told a story. They're, a picture is being painted for them to believe and there's nothing Nothing, you know, there's no way to back this up. There's nothing that solidifies or, you know, that is, there's no truth to anything that the narcissist is saying. But this supply believes them and wants to play the role of the savior. They want to be Jesus Jr. They just don't know they're not qualified for this. And so they get pregnant or they impregnate the new supply intentionally to appease the situation, to make them feel like, well, I'll give you what they couldn't give you. I'll give you what they took away from you. We can have our own family and we can be happy. It's toxic. It's toxic. It's toxic. Now, I said that I could do a little story time here. You know, when I found out, well, I never really did find out from the narc myself that he had a new child. In fact, it wasn't until his sister posted a picture on Instagram that my kids were able to see this picture. And they were like, wow, mommy, daddy has a new son. And this child at that point, I mean, was probably crawling. Several months had gone by, but this was the first time we ever heard of it or saw about a new baby. And that really says something when the narcissist would hide their own child. Who hides their child? Why would you hide a child? This child is innocent. And it's interesting because the same woman that he had the child with, the um, new supply who he left us for, which is really all fine, was the same woman that while I was thinking that I'm doing the right thing and trying to save this marriage would say, well, you know, you got pregnant on purpose, but I'm like, but this is, that was, that was my husband at the time. And I'm thinking, what? But now here she is pregnant and well, here she is now a mother of his child. But I want you to understand that it's nothing it's got nothing to do about love there's nothing about creating a family unit that is going to be a healthy one there's there's nothing positive that will come out of this situation because they are who they are narcissists are not going to suddenly change their patterns remember leopards don't change their spots they simply are who they are. They may switch up a little bit, but they will always return to their default setting. And that is that is the evil person that they are. There is no love involved in this new unit. There is no legacy that they create, um, they care to establish with this person. And the child does not receive anything better. There is no level of love or you know desire to love this child purely so that this can be a healthy functioning member of society no it is always going to be self-seeking and all to glorify the narcissist when the new supply gets pregnant and if you are somebody who is who is still trying to recover from the pain of this relationship i encourage you to now begin to focus on yourself and your healing i encourage you to remind yourself who they are sometimes it's important that you sit down and you make a list of all the good things about that person and then 
Turn that page around and make a list of all the bad things, every reason why that relationship could not and would not work. Write down why they are a good parent or why they are not a good parent and really be honest with yourself and pour out on this list so that you can see everything that is true about who they are in black and white before you. Once you set things in perspective, you're going to be able to see things for what they are. And it's my hope that it helps you through that exercise to take your mind off what is happening with the new supply. Of course, there might be pictures, happy pictures posted on social media. You might even have a gender reveal. You might even have the baby shower, the new baby, and all these wonderful life moments. But always refer to your list and remind yourself of who they are. Again, a leopard never changes its spots. They simply are who they are and they will never change. All of that is a show. All of that is to save face, especially when the new supply is working so hard to change the narcissist, not knowing what they're dealing with or just or maybe they could just be as toxic as the narc and they are all and they're both doing this, you know, for a show. Nothing is real. Just because, you know, they, they're posting a happy lifestyle, trust me, it's not what it is. I think I have um I'll put up one of the videos that I talk about my conversation with the new supply. She actually reached out to me to tell me what being pregnant was like and to talk about how life with him was and I was just like and this is what you were trying to well I mean this is what you wanted this is the man that you wanted so what more could I say I hope you know it's my sincere hope for her at least that she would wake up because it's detrimental to her child and at the end of the day we've got to think about these babies they're innocent they didn't ask to be here they're just born into this confusion and into this misery. Consider the fact that narcs don't love their children. And for somebody who can triangulate their own children, for someone who um, is willing to go low, some, they, just like they discard their intimate partners, they do the very same thing to their children. So it's, it's a painful journey that lies ahead for the kids. And so as a parent, or if you're raising a child with a narc, pray for your child, love your child, show a lot of compassion to your child, and please get them help, get them the therapy that they need, even if they are not you know, expressing the need for it, or they're not showing you any signs that would make you be concerned immediately, but please do get your children the help that they need. So I look forward to hearing your experiences as well as seeing what you have to say in the comment section. I hope that you continue to be great and continue to love yourselves. Until the next discussion, God bless you.